Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie at Cameron MCNZ on Twitter, and I just wanted to quickly show you how to get rid of that annoying web.xml is missing error message that you get in Eclipse on the POM file when you create a new web module in the tool. So let me show you the problem that we have with a web module that doesn't have any web.xml file in it. I'm going to open a new Maven project, create a brand new Maven project, make it a simple Maven project and the group ID com.mcnz and artifact no web XML. And I'm going to make this a type war file. And normally, well, historically, war files have had web.xml files in their webinf folder. And if you end up creating a new war file with Maven and you haven't specified any other archetype, notice it'll bark at you. I get a little bit of a clap back here and it says to me web.xml is missing. It gives me a, a white X. Some people say it's a red X. It's not. It's a white X. Gives me a white X that says web.xml is missing. So how do you fix it? Well, it's real easy to fix it. All you have to do is add a plugin to your build element in the POM file of your Maven project. So I'm gonna paste that in here and just talk about it for a second. So right there, I've put in this Maven War plugin, 331 is the version, and I've just put this entry in here, fail on missing web XML and set that to false. So otherwise it's gonna fail on a missing web.xml file. That's all you need in order to get rid of that error. I'm gonna click Control S, I'm gonna right click and say Maven, update project, click OK. And that just kind of shakes the tree a little bit, gets it to recognize that setting, and all of a sudden that white X on the red circle goes away. And so that's all you need to do, just add that uh, Maven War plugin to the plugin section of the build element of your POM file and it goes away. By the way, I did uh, also include the uh, uh, Maven compiler configuration where I set the source code to 1.8. You can actually put a release tag in there and say release 11 or release 13 if you want to use a different version. But that's always a good thing to put in as well. That's not necessary for this solution though, um, although if you don't have that, you may end up getting some sort of error about not supporting Java 1.5. But as far as fixing that um, no web.xml in your project. That's all you have to do. And by the way, I guess the other option is to actually put a web.xml file in your project, but hmm, who wants to do that? And there you go. That's how easy it is to fix that web.xml is missing Maven error. If you enjoyed this tutorial, head over to the serverside.com. I'm the editor in chief over there. We've got lots of great enterprise software development tutorials over there. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and subscribe on YouTube.